Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode for the Let's Play Outlast series. In the last video, it was probably the most intense ones. And so I'm hoping I can catch a little bit of a break and get a little bit more about the story in this one. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Right where we left off. Good. Can't really go the other ways, or can I? That's locked. What the hell's in here? Basement area. Sure. So we're gonna go this way. I can hop over that. Should I? Can I? Not. Oh, great. Upstairs or downstairs? Um, what's upstairs? I'd rather check upstairs first. It's locked, isn't it? Sure is. Great. Downstairs we go. I'm going to leave that open just in case. I can't. Oh, I can lean. Anything back here? Uh-huh. I need that. Wait. What's in here? Another desk. Door. Sure. Patrick Petrina. Nowhere to go, so we'll go through here. hell's up with this room? Okay. Wait. Is that the priest? Alright, you asshole. Thank God you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now. The hell are you going? Okay. Seems to be a longer hallway. I want to check. What the f fuck? Oh, another camera. Uh, might as well check the stalls. There's smoke in here. Okay. Guess that was just some room. Oh, they're here. Come on, open the door. Uh-huh, another locker room. Cool. Just, that's an odd layout, just a single urinal in the corner. And then a row of more. Okay. Let's check this side out more. document. Okay.
Pers persecutional delusions, is that what it said? Shit. Persecute persecutorial delusions. Big words. Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of orderly 531920 David Aperna an Annapurna and process him as a patient of Mount Massive to treat his persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger. Wow. They do not want any information making it out. Was that? Oh, battery. Good. And we got five batteries. We are stockpiled. Um, can't make it out there. And that is open. So, holy shit. What the fuck happened here? I had to burn it. All of it. Murkoff took so much from us. Used us. Turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get out. You want to let get out through the kitchen. Extinguish the fire. I feel like I'm gonna make him very upset if I take out the fire. Holy shit. Okay. Also, there was a new note. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watch a man wait to burn to death, the most painful imaginable, painful death imaginable, rather than stay in his place. Is there anything over here? Nope. How about over here? Another document. If you're seeing this, say something. There's no shame in psychopath. Psychopathological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from Murkoff Success Counselor. Okay, nothing really in this room. Fine, I'll replace my camera battery. I guess I have to squeeze through here. I don't like squeezing through tight spaces like that. These doors are blocked off. I don't like all the banging noises. Stop it. Is there anything going on in these rooms? Okay. Is this it? No water. First, turn the two valves. Which would be... 
Wait. Turn the two valves. A singular locker to hide in. That doesn't seem like a good option. Oh. Oh, big fuckers there. Oh my god. Please walk the other way. Please walk down that hallway. Please, 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 please. into shit oh he's in here oh he is what up, Tubby? Are you still in here? Are you down the hallway? Oh shit. No. No. Shit! Ow! Fuck off! Fuck off! Nope. Nope. You can't get me. And all of a sudden, I don't exist to you anymore. Yeah. That's right. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? That really fucking hurt, you know. Oh, shit. There's one valve. And there's another one I have to release. No complaining at all. We have to wash every little part. Okay. I don't see him down there. Here's chains either. Nope. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Nope. I do not exist. <laughs> uh, 
Go away. S go away, please. I probably have to go all the way down there, huh? He's not gonna leave me alone, is he? Unless I just... That's right. You can't get me through here. Is there anything in any of these bathtubs? I highly doubt it. Yeah, so, yeah, there's nothing. Should I just bolt it? Maybe I should just bolt it. Maybe? Yes, no? Okay, I... Are you kidding me? Oh, there's nothing in this room, is there? Oh my god. Please don't. He is in this room with me. Going away. Where are you? gonna hide behind the pillar. Just so gonna check the other room. Sure is. Give me the battery. is in here. Time to turn the other valve. I'm not going to hide in that locker. Okay. He's going to come bursting through that door, isn't he? Shit! Shit! I'm gonna break your fucking ankles! Break! Break them! Break them! Break them! Get fucked, Tubby! Shit! Later, fatty.
Just the cafeteria? Yeah. open those probably for a good reason something tells me I have to go down that chute maybe can I oh this is dumb okay uh, thought I'd try it I can finally go outside now. Do I want to go outside right now, though? Send another document. It is. One general problem. For the past several months, Bluebird has been endeavoring to ascertain by research, study, instruction, and some practice what value, if any, can be derived from SI, sleep induction, and hypnotic techniques when applied to war and specify agency problems. Three, seven. I skipped an over. Oh, one, five. Oh, I. One, five, and nine excerpts. Can we create by posts hypnotic control and action contrary to an individual's basic moral principles? Can we guarantee total amnesia under any and all conditions? Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? What are full details on sleep-inducing machine? We are outside. Look for Father Martin. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Hell. I ain't scared of no lightning. It's probably why we were stockpiling on batteries. How alive are you? Alive enough, I assume. I don't even know your name, but I've come to think of you as one of my blood, my Paul. I hope you don't mind, and I hope you don't indulge the vanity of self-pity. The fear that you are suffering, your suffering is more than others. We all must endure this, and you are nearly done. There's no way to heaven but by this cross, and every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I am here for you. I am waiting ahead. You gonna fucking crucify me? That's locked though. That is also locked. Homie's just chilling there with a hole in his head. Nice. Over there, maybe?
I don't necessarily like all the noises that are going on around me. What is going on? Where am I supposed to go? Needs a key. Where the hell am I supposed to find the key? Again, whatever noises that are coming around me right now, I am not a fan. No, 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 no. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, this is creeping me out. Oh. So what is in here? Nothing. Cool. Door needs a key. I circled that entire lot. Maybe at the fountain? I cannot see shit. Okay, I guess I'll go to the fountain. Door needs a key. There's a lot of creepy fucking noises going on. I hope there's nothing. Is there a key on you? Can't go there or there. What about over here? What? Okay. A little shed. Battery. Key. It's a maintenance shed. Um. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go back in here real quick, so I can retreat, like myself, get out of the rain. I gotta go over to that door over there, right? Right, we're gonna go over there. Run it, run it, run it. Just run and gun. Let me in. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. That is all the time that I have for this episode. So. <sighs> if you like what you saw. Please leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Sub to the channel and hit the notification bell. And as always. I will see you in the next one. Peace.